Praise the Lord. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, youth. It's me, Jill, your Tuesday devotional share. This is something new for all of us, but I know God will use each and every one through this. Um, if you have Bible with you, you could just open with me in the book of Hebrews 13 verses 15 to 17. 21 it says by him therefore let us offer the sacrifice of praise to god continually that is the fruit of our lips giving thanks to his name in verse 16 it says but to do good and to communicate forget not for with such sacrifices god is well pleased in verse 17 Obey them that have the rule over you, and submit yourselves, for they watch for your souls, as they that must give account, that they must do it with joy, and not with grief, for that is unprofitable for you. In verse 21, Make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to Him be glory forever and ever. Amen. This verse has touched my heart and just blown, and I'm just blown by it. Before I read the word, I said, Lord, give us the word that we need today, and He gave me this. We are in the current situation that we never anticipate that this will happen. In just blink of an eye and boom we are restricted to go anywhere we are all shocked and still adjusting and I thought about our leaders especially our pastor how is he really at this time it's never been easy to be a leader I know it for myself we knew it that's why it is high time for us to be the backbone of the church. He needs us. Our leaders, our elders need our support system. Upon this task that Brother Jacob gave us, I for myself was very shy about it. I don't really like taking videos and seeing myself being conscious how ugly am I, I might look, it's a girl thing, but in the first place, I realized that I'm not doing this for anyone, I'm not doing this to please people, but I'm doing this for the Lord. So right now, this is my motivation, Lord, no matter how I look, if it's for your glory, I'll do it for you. In verse 15, it says, Let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. Meaning this task is a form of praise that we could give to the Lord, that we should do continually. In verse 16, But to do good and communicate, forget not. For with such sacrifices, God is well pleased. This is a good thing. It is one way of encouraging one another. With a simple way, we are pleasing God. We don't need fancy words or to be a preacher to share God's goodness. Being available to the Lord and being just who you are. Amen. He wants that. He loves that. And I believe each one of us can be used mightily to encourage others. You may think, Lord, I'm not really good enough. I'm not worthy. I have lots of imperfections. It's a lie. It's a lie. Don't listen to your inner critic. Listen to God's voice. Listen to God's word. His words are pure. His words are true. His word is full of inspiration. Brother Lee Stone King mentioned in his preaching, it says, The devil will try, the devil will try to stop you before you ever get started. That's how he operates. So 
if God is beginning to use you and you're having troubles, then you need to shout the victory because it means you're on the right track. If you're having difficulties in life, then just leap and shout the victory. Because if the devil's giving you trouble, then you're on the right track. Remember, we are in the flesh yet. We need to die in the flesh. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. There are many distractions, social media and all. TikTok, I might say. I'm not saying... Mm, I'm not saying nothing against it. Sorry for that. But millions already have this application on their phones because a lot are entertained by this application. But anything that is distracting us to do is will. Sorry for that. Amen. Okay, going back. Speaking of TikTok, I'm not saying anything against it, but millions already have this application on their phones because a lot are entertained by this application but anything that is distracting us to do his will is no good we need to discipline ourselves instead of downloading application that are entertaining to people why not download something that will nourish us that will encourage us in our walk with god we have a lot of resources, but we need to use it wisely. I'm not telling this to you only, but I'm speaking it to myself. That's why we are here to each other to help and remind one another. This is the best time for us to communicate and give encouragement. If someone is not on the right track, feeling low, just give them a tap, bro sis, give them a word of encouragement. Open rebuke is better than secret love. Be an example, be an influencer, be a light. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Amen. I love you all you, and I'm speaking this with love the church need us let's take this opportunity to step up let's support our leaders let's support our brother jacob our sister rachel our sister galen they love us dearly they have already sacrificed a lot for us instead of doing their me time they're giving us most of their time for us, investing their time for us because they loved us. And let's do our part. They are also human. They also feel down. They also feel low. But most of the time, we don't feel it because they are keeping it to themselves. They need our encouragement as well. We need each other. Let brotherly love continue. Let sisterly love continue. Let's do our part. We are in one body. Let us continue to chase His will together. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and He knoweth them that trust in Him. Praise God. Let's trust Him, youth looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Praise God. God bless us all. So right now, um, let us pray together. Let's close our eyes. Lord Jesus, I just want to say thank you, God, for everything that you've done for us. Thank you, Lord, for protecting us, for daily reminders, for sustaining us, oh God. Lord Jesus, 
I pray for our leaders. I pray for our pastor. I pray for our leaders, O oh God, in this church. Strengthen them, O oh God, Jesus. Strengthen them, O oh Jesus. You give them wisdom and knowledge on how to deal with this current situation right now. Lord, I pray, O oh God, for us, for the youth. Give us a teachable heart, a humble spirit before you, Jesus. Use us mightily for your kingdom, O oh God, Jesus. And I know, O oh God, that you will make a way for all of us. We give you praise and honor for your precious name, Jesus. Declaring victory in Jesus' name. Amen.